Good afternoon, welcome to La Cucina. How you doing guys? I'm gonna make eggplant, I'm gonna dry them up, then I'm gonna season them, and then I'm going to savor, put it in the jar with olive oil, just like you guys saw me doing the pickle pack and also the mushroom. So I like the fresh one. Now, in the old days, my mom used to cut them up, put in stripes, put in salt, uh, leave it, put a weight on it, just like I do the pickle pack and you put a weight on it for like 24 hours. So you gotta move it, add a little more salt, squish and squish until all the liquid comes out. And if you don't have a dehydrator like I do, then you have to do that. Uh, if not, then you can do what I'm doing. I have a beautiful dehydrator I bought last year and I'm using it a lot. I do sun dried tomato with it, I do uh, dry eggplant, dry mushroom, uh, I do dry hot peppers. This is all from my garden this year. And, uh, you know, I love hot peppers, so look, guys, amazing. And it works really well, and this tastes a long time. Let's play. So first of all, I'm going to put salt in the water. And, you know, listen, it's got to be a little salty, the water. So this goes. This goes. Some people use the pillar. You, you can use the pillar if you want. I'm old fashioned. Make sure you take all the skin out. And we're going to cut them a long way. I remember don't make them too short because when you put them in the dehydrator if you do have a dehydrator they get they get they shrink so I usually do this see that this is fine put them in the water now they've been in the water for less than 10 minutes not much so what we do is take them out, squeeze them a little. I put paper towel on the bottom of the racks and I'm doing this. Okay guys, I went in the backyard and I found more hot pepper. I tell you, you know, at the end of November, the end of October, they still produce it like crazy. I broke, a, I broke a, a plant when I was taking the red ones. So I broke a branch. But they're good anyway. I put the, the green one in there too. So, this is the last of the eggplant. I got like five trays full of four and a half. So, I'm putting also the hot pepper in there. I'm going to show you how the dehydrator is. Uh, put you down here. You guys see that? See how nice? This is a beautiful dehydrator. It's called Kosori. Uh, I got it on Amazon. And so what I'll do is I'll close it up. 165. And we do the hour. This is eight. We gotta do seven and seven and a half is good. Start. And leave it there until it's done. So when, when it's finished, then I'll show you the process where I'll do. Look at this. The end of October, I still get him fixed. Amazing. It's something. You know, they're not they're soft, but beautiful. Delicious. Good morning, guys. 4.50 a.m. in the morning on Sunday. What go you got here? Oh, they look like straw, right? This is all the plant that we dried yesterday. It took about seven and a half hours to dry. And now I'll show you what I'm doing. So simple. This is the way I do things. And if I gotta get up early in the morning, I'll do it. So you can use white vinegar. You can use um, white wine vinegar. So the only thing you would do is this. So we are submerging all 
these eggplants in vinegar. In the beginning, they look like straw. Then after, they're gonna get nice and soft. The vinegar, what it does, it gives them a little bit of moist and also a little, it adds a little flavor to the eggplant. And we're gonna let it sit for one hour. I usually do one hour, no more than that. Little by little. That's it guys, we're gonna leave this for an hour and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I gotta do. Okay, one hour passed. You can see now they're getting nice and soft. Now I'm gonna drain this. And then we're gonna just let it sit a little bit until all the vinegar really drains out of this. Ah, oh, I'm back, look how nice and soft they are now. Beautiful, beautiful dry eggplant. Okay guys, mamma mia, look at this, six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm in PJ still, with my sweat on. So, excuse the attire guys, but you know, it's early in the morning. So what are we doing? I went in the backyard, still dark out there, got beautiful parsley. I got tons of parsley still this year. So what are we doing? I'm gonna, there's a little bit left olive oil in here. I'm gonna mix it with my beautiful eggplant. I got a new can of olive oil. Don't forget, when you guys go to the store, see this is olive oil from Crete. Do you see this? First cold pressed, the best olive oil you can get, that's what it is. So now, the best thing to do is this. Guys, very simple, this is so simple. Even a child can do this. But when you preserve this stuff for the winter, I tell you, you wanna have a little snack with a little crostini bread. Maybe I wanna put it in the oven for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what happened with this garlic. Make sure you have clean disinfect jars. Let's put it right here. And first thing I do is a little garlic. And you can put the garlic in chunks, you know. Then what I'll do is I'll take fresh parsley from my yard. Or you can use dry parsley, guys. It doesn't matter. And then we'll take some of our eggplant. in here everything is clean here so if they fall on the wood it's okay make sure you press them down when you eat this stuff you're gonna say holy crap excuse my language <laughs> you're gonna say oh my goodness this is great again a little bit of parsley make sure you dry the parsley right if it's wet you don't want water. No water in here. More garlic in there. That's all. One clove of garlic for each jar is fine. And then, I don't know how many jars I'm going to make. But you want this to be... Oh, where are you? Come here. Want this to be nice and compact, not too compact because you need olive oil to go into and cover it up. You have to put olive oil in it and you have to make sure that the olive oil, olive oil is always above the eggplant because if not, whatever sticks out becomes moldy. So you better not do that. There we go.
probably get like two, maybe two and a half jars, three jars from here, from two eggplant. This is plenty for the winter for people. Listen, if you make it just for yourself, two jars are nice. It's not that you eat this every day. This is like just a, as a snack or as an appetizer, just like when you make the uh, sun-dried tomato. It's exactly the same. If you want to put a little hot pepper in it, you can. I'm just going to put one small piece in there. It's dry. Just leave it there. That's all you, you need, just to infuse it a little bit. So it will not really be very spicy, but it, it will be enjoyable to the palate. And guys, let it sit open for about an hour, because sometimes when it gets all compact like this, it tends to go up. So usually I put a dish underneath, put this on and leave it open for an hour. So God forbid it comes back up and, it, and, and overflows, then it goes into the dish. If you close it and it creates some kind of a gas, it can, it can you know, pop the glass open, break the glass. So we'll leave it open here and we'll go, we'll move forward to another one. Listen guys, this is old fashioned tradition passed on from my mom, my grandmother, all the grandmothers in Italy, they do this stuff. All this type of tradition, old fashioned tradition that they give you, brings back memory and brings you back in the old fashioned way, brings you back to the old times when then they, let me see, maybe you can see my face a little. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and that way, you know, think about this stuff. They used to do this by hand without the dehydrator like I use now. They used to press this with weights and do, and do all this stuff here just to have this delicious, delicious snack for the winter time. Oh, forget it. I, I have so many memories with this. It was amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see this. This is nice, you know. And, and uh, you know, listen, a little patience that goes a long way. Just a little bit. But make sure that everything is submerged. So if you see some sticking out, just push it down. Make sure the olive oil always covers everything. Look how beautiful. But look how beautiful this looks. Look how nice. Even if you want to make it for your family and friends that you want to give them for Christmas, it's gorgeous. And everybody loves that clan. So, guys, why not? All right. So, thank you so much for watching me, even at 6 a.m. And I will see you next time in my next video. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it.